There he is, labeled by so many a monster. In a brutal civil war that's left nearly half a million dead, many millions displaced, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad now welcomed back to the Arab League with open arms and two kisses from Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Arab world can now reposition itself, he said, in a world of Western dominance that lacks principles, manners, friends and partners. Assad's return to the league was led by the Saudis, who say after a dozen years of war, this may help end the crisis. Other Arab leaders seemed all good with that, though the emir of Qatar, a staunch Assad opponent, walked out before Assad spoke. And in northern Syria, hundreds protested what they called the normalization of Syria's president. Likewise, the U.S. continues to sanction the Assad regime. The activist daughter of a Syrian man missing in his country for years puts it this way. Instead of normalizing Assad now after 12 years, they should have, you know, held him accountable for the war crimes he've committed, for the war crimes that he is, most importantly, for the war crimes he is still committing. But Assad was hardly the only leader of note at the summit. Thank you. In a surprise visit, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who called on Arab nations to help protect our people, including Ukrainian Muslim community. And so it was on the day longtime Russian ally Syria was welcomed back to the Arab League warmly. Zelensky pulled no punches, accusing some in the room of turning a blind eye on Russia. Ukraine, he said, will never submit. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.